Hey, it's Kish. And it's Roland here. And we're from Porygon Tube, and we're bringing you round two action from the Bendigo League Cup in Victoria, Australia. In this round, we'll be featuring former world champion Chris Khan on the left versus Ryan Bentley on the right, a newer player who I actually had the pleasure of playing uh, later on in the day. So Chris is playing his very, very interesting Mega Rayquaza deck, a crazy list to say the least, uh, and Ryan is playing his Mega Mewtwo deck with Wobbuffet. So it'll be interesting to see how this match plays out. Roland, we know Chris Khan's deck list. Do you want to explain some of the interesting things he's got in there? Yeah, it really pops out at you from the page. Um, there's a lot of interesting card choices. I'm not sure whether he, that was something that he developed himself or whether this is kind of an idea that's sort of floating under the radar between a, two people, between a few people. But what I do know is that his list is, yeah, he's playing four Hooper EX, four Dragonite EX, four Unknown, so that the Pokemon where you get to discard it from your bench and draw a card. So you can sort of see the synergy between Dragonite and Unknown there. It plays no Trainer's Mail, only two Versus Seeker. Yeah. Uh, for Spirit Link, uh, the list of weirdness goes on, but clearly, you know, it works for him and it, it produces a streamlined deck list. I think we're seeing it in response to all the Bar Plume, you know, particularly yeah. with the, the lower amount of Versus Seeker and, you know, no Trainer's Mail. And it's, it's a very interesting list. Yeah, definitely a very interesting list. And of course, he is playing Fire. So he also plays, as his EXs that aren't sort of the Rayquazas and the Hoopers and the Dragonites, he also plays Volcanion, which allows him to discard Fire Energy without needing an Ultra Ball, which which makes his Mega Turbos easier to use. Yeah. Uh, but he also has Genesect DX, which might seem weird, but its Drive Change ability allows you to pick up a tool from it back to your hand. So yeah. you can sort of stick a Float Stone on it, and that can be a Float Stone for any of your Pokemon when you mm. need it. Yeah. So yeah, not much you can do on his first turn because obviously you can't attack. So Mega Ray is a deck that you know can actually attack on turn one thanks to Mega Turbo, but yeah. Uh, obviously, you can't do that going first, but a good, pretty good setup for him. Yeah, and for Ryan, he's not playing Garbodor. He's playing Wobbuffet instead, and that could actually be a huge factor in this matchup because a lot of the... Well, one way to counter Mega Rayquaza is a combination of Parallel City, Ability Lock through Garbodor, and N. So yeah, in the late course, game, yeah. they'll struggle to recover from that because they're relying on Hoopers and Dragonites yep. to use their abilities to maximize the bench. To hit for big damage so uh, Wobbuffet only works to turn off abilities when it's in the active spot and of course if that's happening then you can't attack with Mega Mewtwo so yep. that might actually be a huge factor in this matchup we'll just have to wait and see yeah Wobbuffet's something that's going to get you a lot of mileage early on in the game so it's going to prevent you from getting run over early but it's not going to do much for you in the mid or late game yeah uh, really for, for Ryan okay so Chris Sycamores and draws his only two yeah. VS Seeker off the Sycamore <laughs> <laughs> But this is something that's actually a, a real problem for Ryan. He, he's had to keep that Mewtwo active. And it yeah. is interesting that he decided to attach to it. That's mm -hmm. something that... You, you see that Skyfield there and, you know, you've got, to, you've got to think that Chris is almost certain to get an attack off this turn. He only yeah. needs to get two more bench Pokemon and a, well, a double Colos. It's, well, and at the time he needed a Mega Ray. But still, for, for his deck, given how streamlined it is, or even yeah. how streamlined the average Mega Ray list is, that's something that yeah, isn't very hard to do at all. Yeah, and so and, Chris takes a knockout yeah. there, and he had a nice combination there. He used Unknown's Farewell Letter, uh, he drew a Dragonite, played the Dragonite to get back the Unknown out of the discard pile, and uh, he can Farewell Letter that uh, later on to draw another card. So, a nice combo there from Chris, and he takes first blood in this matchup. And yeah, Ryan's that's already that on the clock. Yeah, out of, yeah, those Dragonites. Like, yeah. you, can, you can keep getting back the Unknowns, you know, and uh, using it if you do need extra cards, but... yeah. Okay, so Ryan gets down the Parallel City and uh, counters counters Chris's Skyfield. So what is he hoping for this turn? He can get run over very quickly here. Yeah, and this is where he would have really liked that attachment on the previous turn. Yeah. So if he'd have had that Psychic on this Mega Mewtwo with, with a double Colors and a Mega mm. Turbo, he could actually yeah. knock out this Mega Ray because seven energy between them is a Psychic Infinity one it yeah, can uh, but, but now he's going to need two Mega Turbos in addition to all of that. So it's looking unlikely here. This sort of seems like the do or die turn. You know, it's kind yeah. of crazy to say this is turn two, yeah. but that, that's how it is against Mega Ray with these sort of decks. Absolutely. Unless that Parallel City sticks, he might have some leeway, but that's a huge risk. If, if Chris has a Skyfield in his hand, you know, he can get back to almost as many Pokemon as he wants as, yeah. you know, pretty much ASAP with four Dragonite. You know, you're not going to struggle. As, as long as you have that Skyfield in play, you're not going to struggle getting more Pokemon. Absolutely. So, uh, I think, and Ryan's sort of maybe realized this, and he's committed the energy to the active. 
yeah. hoping to draw into what he needs, but oh, he can only mega evolve for turn. So you feel if Chris knocks out this Magneto, yeah, this that's is, game. Yeah, this is essentially it. Yeah. So and there's the sky field. Uh, and there's a farewell letter. Draws a fire energy. Dragonite gets back two Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. He may as well have used that because otherwise Dragonite would only get him back one Pokemon. Yeah. Because Dragonite can't get back other Dragonites. Sort Absolutely. of an interesting caveat of its ability. Yeah. So and there we see a Shaman. Yeah, and he's so Chris only needs two more Pokemon. Yeah, he just needs yeah, and he's got and a Shaman in his hand already. Yeah, he's got Shaman in his hand, so pretty much oh, yeah, and he draws the Pokemon that he needs. It is an unknown. Yeah. So he, he hasn't played letters. as a supporter yet, so he can yeah. he can do whatever he wants really. Yeah. <laughs> And there we see the four Dragonite coming in big. So that's twice he's unknowned into two dra- into a Dragonite. So uh, he fell all letters again. Man, yeah. he is just drawing a lot of cards. Who needs trainers mail? Yeah, or supporters. He yeah, still hasn't played a supporter. It's, uh, and maybe, you know, we're seeing, yeah, maybe this just is better than trainers mail on the list. It, it's an interesting innovation for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether we see Mega Ray lists pick up this sort of thing. Yeah, it's it's really cool to see. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, he hasn't played. He didn't play a supporter, so it allows him to play things like Hex and Lysander. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and Hex is really important for Dragonite. Yeah. Uh, sorry for uh, for Mega Ray in particular in a few matchups, and, yeah. and obviously Lysander. So, yeah, that's it's really big for the deck. Yeah, and Ryan and yeah, f- Ryan. <laughs> this isn't looking really too under good. the pump. Yeah. yeah. So he can use uh, he can use confusion with uh, <laughs> with Espeon. Yeah. Perhaps. Stall for a turn. That's absolutely that, that's possible. That Maybe he does that for play. a turn, and then yeah, he's going to need probably another Parallel City at some point. Or, I mean, actually, even even a Shrine of Memories, as long as Skyfield's out of play. I mean, yeah. that is sort of the issue when when you have only. I mean, because you can only play for Skyfield, and unless you play Puzzle of Time, which I don't really like in these lists, but yeah. some do. Like you can't actually get them back, so it's possible that Chris doesn't draw into another Skyfield. So maybe his U2s can actually tank hits, yeah. and maybe even get off healing. With damage change so it's theoretically possible that he makes the comeback albeit extremely difficult because he has to avoid lysander which we actually Absolutely. see in chris's hand yeah so he has the game next turn unless he gets end so nah, we're gonna need I'd... to see an end yeah ryan played a sycamore so oh, he just wasn't played... able to wasn't yeah, able, able to, to disrupt to. chris so All right, i so think this game we could be going to a very less, quick yeah. game two here unless we just have that confusion but i'm not sure what else chris has in his hand it's, he's got a very large hand so uh it's not okay he attaches the double colors Oh, Mega Turbo! If he has a, if he has another Mega Turbo, yep. Does he have it? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he hadn't played Sigmar. Apologies. Oh no, no, he no, 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 no he's sorry. Balls. Okay, he's going for Espeon, uh, just to tank a hit, maybe. Yeah, yeah, just to something to stall. Uh, so but... that's absolutely what he's looking for. Yeah, because it really... does have that float turn on it. This is a foregone conclusion. Unfortunately, Ryan doesn't know that, but we know what Chris what Chris has in hand. Yeah. So from his so, perspective, um, oh, does that have? No, that only has three energy on it, doesn't it? So it should have been one. Oh, unless it took. Oh, did oh, the Rayquaza took thirty damage on the first turn. Ah, oh, from shot. a sh- sh- shot. Oh, Okay, right. Didn't see that. Oh, shadow shot. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay so yep. that is a knockout. So okay. Well, Chris does need. No, oh, he gets the sky build, and that's really the most important piece. Yeah, of the he puzzle. just needs the ray, yeah. the mega ray, and yeah. there it is. So yeah. Um, gets Chris the other mega for good measure. Yeah, just... <laughs> and the other thing that Genesect is really useful for is um, putting a spirit link on it for when you don't have a Requaza to attach to. Yeah, definitely. Uh, because... So if you're forced to Sycamore, Sycamore yeah. that spirit link away, uh, you can yeah get some mileage out of it. Yeah, and then Ryan, you got a feel for him. He probably has no idea what hit him. Uh, that game. I think he knows exactly what hit him, and that's yeah. Mega Rayquaza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's not much else that's going to do it, but yeah, it, it just shows how brutal the deck can be. Chris was able to get those Skyfields, so as soon as you counter, yeah, if if you're countering your opponent's counter to Skyfield, yeah, you know, with Chris's deck, getting the Pokemon is the easy part. Once you get yeah. the Skyfield, everything just falls into place, absolutely, and you can do up to 240 damage, which is enough to knock out anything really. So yeah, that's yeah, it, that's that's brutal. And Considering probably, Ryan's going first, that, that's a huge deal because he could get up Wobbuffet yeah. and that's going to significantly slow down Chris. He can't play Absolutely. Shaman. Sorry, yeah. he can play it down, but he can't set up. Yeah. Uh, yeah he so can the, still use Farewell Letter, though. <laughs> he can. He definitely can. And he can use Hooper, so yeah. he can at least get Pokemon, but set up is a really important part of the draw engine. Yeah. And that's why Wobbuffet's so disruptive. It gets a lot of decks, but particularly Mega Ray. So that could mm. just allow him to set up. And if, if he can 
gets it up and take the first knockout on an EX, he can out-trade Chris. Because Chris only yeah. has three, a maximum of three EX attackers. So he can't really do anything else. So if if Ryan gets, yeah, say he, he manages to stall Chris for the, in the first few turns of the game and then takes a knockout on yeah, some EX Pokemon, then he can actually get ahead and, and trade prizes and, and win that way. Yeah. And uh, Ryan struggling to keep his uh, paper Yu-Gi-Oh playmat <laughs> straight uh, while yeah. shuffling. And the, I'm going to have to blame Angus match, Johnson uh, for this yeah. abomination that's on the screen right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he brought that to the tournament. So uh, Angus, a uh, yeah. uh, friend of Ryan. So yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what the the point of it is. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what the point of it is. Yeah, it's, just, uh, anyway. We've seen some interesting decisions being made in decklist, but also in playmat. Playmat choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Well, even Chris has another mat on top of the guff mat, but yeah. He's, you know, at least that's an actual Pokemon playmat. Yeah. Albeit right. slightly smaller than the, uh, right. the one underneath. But All right. So uh, Ryan doesn't start with the Wob hit, but no, he, he does have it on the bench. It is kind of awkward for Mewtwo to retreat to Wob because, of course, the only way you can retreat that Mewtwo is either retreating with the double colors, which is not mm. ideal, or attaching a floatstone to it, which is also not ideal. Yeah. And he, he chooses to attach a Spirit Link. So the only way that Wob's going to come active is attaching double colors to retreat, which might actually be worth it. Yeah, you know, against most matchups, that would be probably a pretty bad play. But in this one, it's, it might even be worth it to waste a double colorless because, of course, these Mega Mewtwo decks don't actually play switching cards aside from Floatstone. Yeah, uh, I've I've seen almost no lists that that do. So no, it does make it awkward on these first few turns. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they probably did play Escape Rope in the past to get yeah. out of Fright Night Evil Tower. Yeah, but yeah. Since but since, since that off, dropped off, don't, yeah. don't reckon they play much of those anymore. Yeah, so or any, I should say. So, yeah, plays a Hooper, mm. gets um, Mewtwo and a Shaman. Yeah, two, two Mewtwo's, Mewtwo's sorry, and a Shaman, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, we'll see. So, Ryan had a bit of an awkward hand. Probably if he had a supporter, he would have just liked to put that Wobbuffet active to start off with, but not having a supporter meant that he had to go and grab Shaman. Or yeah, of course. To Shaman Absolutely, to so he did have cards. that opportunity, yeah. So, yeah. If that's, one of, again, one of the difficult things about Wob to use is that yeah, it's up to you from playing Shaman, so... Yeah, and he commits if, the energy have, to the yeah. active again, so at risk of that Mewtwo going down, of course, Mega Rayquaza can evolve on the first turn. Um, yeah, definitely. Thanks to Delta oh, Evolution. Yeah, yeah. Last time, uh, actually, yeah, probably just to clarify what we said last time, it actually wasn't that bad that he attached the energy to the active in the previous time because mm. that he still got mileage out of that 30 damage. Yeah, like, an energy absolutely. counts 30 damage with a scatter yeah. shot or with an extra Psychic Infinity, but this time it doesn't because he can't actually attack with it. Yeah. So he's not getting that 30 damage from the energy. So this is, I think, definitely where he wanted to attach it to the bench. Yeah. But I actually think last game he was probably warranted yep, in. it was the correct play, I think, yeah, last yeah. game to, to get the 30 on. Much easier to get a 6 energy KO than a 7 energy KO for Mega Mewtwo. So. Yeah. Uh, but here we go. So let's see what Chris can do. So he grabs a Hooper, gets a Rayquaza, Shaman... And a Mega Ray, I believe. Okay, so he just Mega Evolves and passes. Yeah, so knows that he can't get a super explosive start. Yeah. So no need to like play anything else. The only okay. thing that he's risking here is if Wob does come active. He's mm, not that's what get... I was going to say. Yeah, that, that's the only thing here. But it, he probably thinks that's unlikely given yeah. given the board state at the moment. And mm. he was recently seeing N from Ryan. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the trade-off uh, for uh, getting rid of Garb to fit in an Espeon line and a Wobbuffet. Uh, a Trubbish with a Floatstone would have been great for Ryan here. Definitely. To, to evolve into Garb, but um, that's not the case. So Yeah, Espeon's uh, not really going to do much in this matchup. No. Nah. It's mostly for the mirror. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a matchup where it's not particularly helpful. But... Uh, that's the evolution of Mewtwo. Mewtwo's gone through quite a few iterations over yeah, this it has, season. It has and... gone through a lot of iterations. And it's like we're finally back to the damage change psychic version. Yeah. Albeit with some yeah, changes to beat Decidueye. But yeah, it, there was a period where people were trying funky builds with you know mm. metal energy and, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. it's interesting that we're kind of... It's sort of come full circle, but with some changes. So yeah. Chris has a mega turbo, so he can... If he gets a double colos and... And everything else, he can he can get an attack off this turn. Yeah. yeah. So we see a big shaman here. That's going to be helpful. If only he had Volcanion. <laughs> yeah. In play, he he could, yeah. See, actually, right here is where we're seeing why Volcanion is useful. Although, ironically, it's like the one time where he doesn't have it out. But yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so he does get the double colorless. And attaches a spirit link, another mega. So he needs four more, po uh, three more Pokemon, apologies, for to get a KO on this Mega Mewtwo. And he's got two yep. in hand with two Dragonites. So he will be able to farewell let it. Yeah, he does have a bit of an awkward hand because he has two other Skyfields. He's not going to yeah. want to discard those, yeah. but he sort of has to keep them there. Yeah, so he so has he got the knockout on this. Yeah, yeah, he absolutely does. Mewtwo. Yeah, so even awkward hand aside, <laughs> he's in a pretty good position. Yeah. And yeah, that's sort of the benefit of unknown. I guess it allows you to keep drawing cards uh, without having to play supporters, as we said before. And also, if your bench is full, you can just discard it, um, draw a card, and then play a shaman or something like that. So uh, yeah, all right. So he does get the knockout on the Mega Mewtwo. Uh, Wob comes active, Parallel comes down, and Chris intelligently kept one Dragonite in hand, possibly anticipating this play. Uh, yeah, and he has he has Skyfield and he's got Dragon at his hand, so yeah, yeah he, he's going to be able to respond perfectly fine. So what does Ryan do here? He's under so much pressure. He's yeah. going to probably take a turn here just to uh, get some energy on board. Yeah, and I think we did see that Chris had Lysander in his hand, so yeah. he's going to be able to get around Boba Fett oh, and... Okay. So he has his Force to use Shaman again, unfortunately, so he had to retreat the Wob. Yeah. So that's a big opening for Chris. He's going to need a monster of a hand to get a knockout here. Yeah, so similarly to last game, he's going to need Spirit Link. Uh, uh, Mega Evolve. <laughs> forget active. that, yeah. So uh, possibly would have liked to see a Mega Evolve the bench there. Uh, then he can always float stone the active if it doesn't get knocked out. Um, yeah, probably going all in and says, if I get knocked out that I've probably lost anyway. So, you know, from his perspective, that was probably just a gamble. Like, because yeah. if, if, if this active gets knocked out, even if he were to evolve the bench one instead, I mean, he's four prizes down. And, yeah, I think... I don't mind that from him. Well, that's not going to pay off here, but... Yeah. Yeah, but I, th I still think it would probably give him a better shot of winning just to mega evolve the bench. Because even if... You mega evolve the active, it's still going to take a hit from Ray. It's still going to get 90 damage on it, so at the minimum. So probably just better to evolve the bench. Anyway. Yeah, I suppose. And then you can just knockout. retreat it and get yeah. it out of... Yeah, yeah, possibly. Um, so the shrine comes down. We see that mega turbo, unfortunately, go to waste with Ultra Ball there. So Eevee comes down and... God, Ryan's just got his ab his board absolutely devastated. Yeah, he's got no and, energy on board, no spirit links. Yeah, what yeah. What does he do? Yeah, and at this point, Chris, you know, again, sort of, he just needs a Lysander, even if he can't get a Skyfield in play. Yeah, which I actually think he does have in his hand anyway. But yeah, Lysander will just not have Shaman, so yeah, it's it's really brutal. And he's got two farewell letters to uh, counter the end. That he he does absolutely Ryan. yeah, so, if, yeah if that's something that he needs to do that's yeah that's something he can do so I mean of course you are sort of it is a bit risky because you're gambling your damage here yeah yeah but you know the cards you draw can definitely be worth it all right so Chris has got a sycamore so he should be good for the rest of the game <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Ryan finds a spirit link. I'm not sure if Ryan plays any techie cards like Enhance Hammer or something. Uh, that could be massive if he did manage to ever power up a Mega Mewtwo. Yeah, most lists. I really haven't seen much Enhance Hammers from lists at all. Yeah. It's, it's very hard to fit in. Yeah, it's just one of those cards where it's, yeah, it's really good when it when it's good and then otherwise it's just dead yeah it You're doesn't have a lot of canyon or something yeah like that. yeah absolutely and it doesn't have like a huge amount of synergy with mega mewtwo because mm. you want to be getting one, one hit knockouts yeah. yeah well yeah for one it reduces your damage output but yeah. also it's you want to be getting one hit knockouts generally anyway so it's only useful for discarding stuff yep. off the bench and there's so the game so there's a lysander for the game. Uh, farewell letter comes in clutch for the lysander and chris takes it in a very short two game series and yeah that's one of the fastest games we've seen yeah, so uh, no fault of Ryan's there. I think Chris's deck just did what it's meant to do, ran like an absolute gun, and uh, yeah, that's that. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, 
glad we got to showcase uh, some interesting decks here, particularly Chris's interesting list. Uh, and we will see you guys in round three. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, see you guys later.